Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 1 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about installing ASP.NET MVC. Before we actually install MVC, first let's determine what versions are already installed on my computer. To do that, click on Start, go to Control Panel, and then click on Programs and then click on programs and features this window should display all the programs that are currently installed on your computer click on the name column to sort by that column and look for Microsoft ASP.NET MVC look at this at the moment I have Microsoft ASP.NET MVC 2, 3 and 4 installed as of this recording the latest version is ASP.NET MVC 4 these versions can run side by side meaning you can install all the three versions on the same computer just like how I did. Since I have all these three versions installed on my computer, I can either create MVC2 or MVC3 or MVC4 applications. Okay. Now if you want to download and install MVC3 and 4, you know, you can you can find the downloads at the URLs that you can see on the slide. You know, once you download, you know, it's the wizard will guide you on how to install. It's a pretty straightforward wizard. You know, you can follow the instructions on the wizard. First try to install MVC3 and then MVC4. And then once you have all the versions installed and once you fire up Visual Studio, and then if you try to create a new project, so file new project and then if you select web from the installed template section look at this I have an option to create MVC 2 or 3 or 4 application here but notice the .NET Framework version here it's .NET Framework version 4 selected now if I select .NET Framework 3.5 look at what's gonna happen I don't have the choice of creating MVC 3 and MVC 4 applications if you want to create MVC 3 or MVC 4 then make sure you select .NET Framework 4 and then we can create MVC3 or MVC4 applications. All right. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.